Well, an Iowa town can finally ease up on water conservation. Drought conditions in Shenandoah are starting to get better. Well, the mayor credits the rain that fell in May, but he says they're not out of the clear yet. And it's part of why the city's only pool will stay closed. KETV News Watch 7's Quinicia Fraser jo joins us from Shenandoah. Like many kids in the summer, <laughs> Leanna Jensen's seven year old daughter loves the water. This year we've been um, doing fun with water guns. Thursday, she had her swimsuit ready so she could take a spin on this water slide for a family fun event put on by the city of Shenandoah, Iowa. Last year we went to the pool. This summer, Shenandoah's only pool is a no-go for little ones like Jensen's daughter. The mayor says it's time for repairs on the 25-year-old pool, like getting the slides refurbished and adding new paint. The mayor of Shenandoah says it doesn't make much sense to have a leaky pool, especially when there's a shortage of water. So the city's waiting until next summer to open it back up. The two things kind of came together at the same time. Just two weeks ago, the city dropped from their highest stage of water conservation to a volunteer stage. Actually, in our ordinance, we have stage one, two, three, and four. We started out with a two, which has some restrictions, uh, but as things got worse, we went to a stage four, which restricts any water from hoses, uh, filling pools, anything, uh, uh, yard ir irrigation, anything like that. Roger McQueen says Shenandoah has actually been in a drought for five to seven years. You know, we run off of uh, shallow wells, uh, which is a little different than some of the other you know, cities around here. And while he's grateful for the May rain that eased the drought. Uh, our wells have come up a little bit, uh, but they're still not where we need them to be. He hopes his city's water situation can only go up from here. In Shenandoah, Quinicia Fraser for KETV Newswatch 7.